Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you specially to my YouTube channel, Easy Spiritual. Uh, today, I'll be taking a series on how to take some accurate measurements on different aspects of clothes making or dress making, as the case may be. Uh, you know, on my YouTube channel, I've once done video on how to cut a shape gown. So today, I want to start with teaching you how to how to measure a shape gown, like step by step, how to measure, so that before you cut, you understand how to take your measurement. And I'll be doing some little explanation on it. But first thing I would like to tell you is this: when you are making a dress for a woman or for a lady. Try and measure any aspect of the dress you may need to measure. Reason being that if you don't measure some part of it, it may bring issues for you when making the dress because you may not have the accurate measurement that you need to apply when you want to cut the dress. So try to measure, particularly when you are making like padded gown or padded blouse or princess that you will need some measurements like 8, 9, 10. When we get there, I'll do my explanation on that. But for this uh, video, I'll be teaching you on how to take accurate body measurement for a shape gown. So please stay with me. Just assume you are in the workshop with me as we take the measurement. I'll be using a lady to do a sample while taking the measurement. So please see you there. Let's go take the measurement. So here is the lady I'll be using to take the sample of an A shape gown. So please, I want you to follow me very closely while I take this measurement. Now, for you to measure an A-shaped gown, you need about four to five areas of the body to measure. Number one, you need the full gown length. That's the full length of the gown. Number two, you need the shoulder measurement, which you can also call the back measurement, which is from the shoulder bone the first shoulder bone to the other one if you want to take full shoulder measurement and if you need half you go from the neck bone you go from the neck bone to this shoulder to take the back measurement and thirdly you need the bust for the measurement when you are taking the bust thirdly or fourthly you need the sleeve which is from this shoulder where your shoulder measurement ended to how long either short, three quarter, or long, as the case may be. Even if it is a puff hand, you will equally measure it to where you need your measurement to be. And then, if the person wants the neck to be deep, you can take the measurement from the shoulder, from this part, to how deep she wants it to go. And lastly, you can equally measure the tummy measurement. Because some, you know, some of our clients might uh, so love their gown to be fitted from the bust to the tummy, then from the hip, from the A line or the fish line, as the case may be. So, but for this tutorial, I'll be taking you through the measurement, the measurement process. Now, go with me. So, what you do is when you want to take the measurement, you place your tape rule by the shoulder here, up here. You allow it to go through the bust down to how long remember that is an a shape gown so you take it to how long your client wants the measurement to be so then you pick it here is 62. now the reason why you have to take it through the bust is because the bust will raise the gown when she puts it on so if you don't consider the bust the bust may eventually take two or three inches out of your measurement thereby making the length of the gown to be short that is why you measure a lady from the front, not the back. You measure it that way. So here is 56. So let's take the other one. So now you go to the back. You go to the back. Now, you place, if you are measuring the full shoulder, if you are measuring the full shoulder, you take it this way. Please adjust a little. Now, you take it from this shoulder to this point meaning you take it this way this way here is 14 but if you are taking off from this point to this neck bone at the middle here which is seven so that gives you the shoulder measurement we are okay with that then you take the sleeve measurement remember here is the shoulder bone 
where the shoulder ends. Then you place your tape here to how long, either short, three quarter, or long sleeve, as the case may be. So you consider those parts of the sleeve wherever your client wants is your measurement, uh, measurement precisely to be. So that is how you take your sleeve measurement. Going this way to the show to this short sleeve or let's say three quarter or long sleeve as the case may be. Then you measure the arm hole size this way you measure the arm hole size this way because most women women dress is more beautiful when the arm hole is firm not bogus so you measure the arm hole size this way here is 17 so when you consider the arm hole it helps you to get an accurate arm hole measurement without having any lapses around the bust here is 17 after then you take your round sleeve if it is short sleeve you take the round sleeve if you want it to be fitted you measure it fitted if you want it to be open you measure it open the same thing applies if it is three quarter or if it is round sleeve as the case may be you take your measurement like that we are through with the sleeve then you go to the post now take your tape roof around our back this way and you bring it to the top of the bust this way you can equally use one hand this way here is 34 and in some cases if the person is busty or the person wants the measurements to be open you can then apply your other hand to balance the tape room this way so you have it this way here is 34 and a half or you use one hand here is 34 so this way you have your post measurement and then we can proceed to the tummy measuring the tummy but mind you always try to put a little allowance in case the person eats and then the tummy decides to appreciate so you make it a little bit free so that it will not be too tight because so many women don't like their gown showing the sign or the traces of their tummy so you measure the bust the normal size and then you add a little allowance when you get to the tummy to get the tummy size so from here your gown takes the shape of a shape if you if you refer to my video or my tutorial on how to cut an a shape gown i made explanation on how many inches how you can get the size of your a shape gown at the round leg you know at the down the hemming part how to get it so in this way don't forget i mentioned you taking the full leg gown measurement from this from this shoulder part, oh no, please come around. From this part down through the bust for the full length. Then from the neck bone, either from this middle or from this end to the other end to get your shoulder measurement. Then from this end, you measure either short, three quarter, or long sleeve for you to have the sleeve measurement. Before you take your tape loop through the back to measure the bust and then the tummy. Now, lastly, before we go, in case your client may request that you make the neck deep, some clients may want their neck to be deep. They don't want off shoulder, but they want the neck to be deep. So, for you not to confuse yourself when cutting or be doing guest game, just ask the client how deep does she want the neck to be. So then you place your tape loop the same point where you place it when you are measuring the full length, and then. For this one that she's wearing is four and a half. But you can ask her how deep does she want it. Some clients may want it five, six, as the case may be. So you measure it that way. So that when you get to the point of cutting the neck on the A-shape, you just apply the measurement you take according to her instructions with the width and you go ahead and cut it. And trust me, you will have it the way she wants it. And when you are cutting, don't forget, always add your seam allowance in case if the client wants it to be deeper, you have your same allowance to use. And if they want it to be smaller, you still have the same allowance to your advantage. So please try and follow all of these instructions. If you can do that, I promise you, you have your measurement. So see you on my next video. But don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and always wait for the next video. We promise to deliver more 
and on time. See you on the next video. Thank you.